Well, here's what we talked about, the uh, Land Rover, Range Rover. Um, yes, this is the big model. They're, they have a new Sport that's coming out, which right. is also cool. Mm -hmm. um, this is the full-size Range Rover. This is their new platform, new truck. This has the 510 horsepower supercharged engine, the same engine that's in your Jag. Yeah, uh, and, the, and it, the, it moves. And, and the, the display screens and a lot of the interior pieces are the same as the Jag. A lot of the electronics and stuff are the same. That all digital dash, it has it looks like analog gauges, but it's just a big screen, which is really neat because yeah. you can change yeah. them up. Bodhi was in this thing about 10 minutes yeah. ago. I just went for a ride and... He was like Jed Clampett the first time he came to Beverly Hills. <laughs> I didn't even want to they touch got anything. They like, <laughs> They don't let this kind of guy in a car like this. He's like, the seat's moving by itself. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's really uh, a lot of vehicle. And uh, I, I couldn't think of a, a better way to get five people around. I mean, it's not not good for carving up the canyons, but right. boy, when you point it in a straight line and get on it, it, yeah, we it, just got it, on it up it here moves. in the corner. Yeah, it, it, it hauls ass. It's quick for a big truck. Like it's not meant to be yeah. like a like a Cayenne Turbo or an M5 X right. whatever X5 M BMW, but it's still meant to really move. And but just the Jaguar and the Land Rover guys, they get the interior so right. You know, like I mean, it's, it's so perfect. gorgeous. I do feel like you do buy this car for its interior, and I do also feel like that's why these cars, these Range Rovers have become sort of the darling of the Hollywood set because you get a rich chick and she climbs into this thing and she just sits behind that wheel and she goes, sold. oh yeah, sold. sold. Yeah. Because, you know, the BMW may be a little bit cheaper, may be a little bit quicker, may be a little bit faster, may handle a little bit better, but when your wife climbs inside of that BMW, it's all German. And this is English. It is. And, and the leg room with him and yeah, you, he was sitting in the back. And you look like you're in a recliner. Uh, I was like, the back wow. is the best part of, of this and the long wheelbase Jag that we drove at one point. This thing is amazing. Now, this is their flagship vehicle for, for, uh, uh, for Land Rover. It has every single option on it. So it is about $115,000 or just under that. And they, they also... You feel like it's money. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just the steering wheel looks like it's twenty-five grand, and the, yeah, the exactly. but also they've always done a really good job with their exteriors of like never getting caught trying. Like yeah. a lot of simple design features, very straightforward, looking yeah. expensive without trying to look expensive. Like yeah. not a bunch of jewelry on it; just everything's just kind of nicely blended. Simple. And yes, and, and this simple. new one is like everything is so smooth and flush, but they still kept that classic clamshell hood. Right. That's just sort of iconic mm -hmm. for for Range Rovers. Yeah. Um, I you've been driving it all week. I haven't got a chance to really drive it, and I hope you've been enjoying it. But you're gonna have to tell me more about it than than anybody else. Just your driving. I didn't. I haven't even opened the hood. We haven't seen anything in there. But um, it was nice driving driving home from Ojai. Both me and my wife were talking about our. We we're doing like a one-upsmanship on loser families like you know well we had a swamp cooler but it never worked swamp cooler was a little exotic for the corollas we didn't have any coolers you know and we we're just talking about what idiots our parents were and how crappy the houses were and stuff and meanwhile we we're just like yeah literally my dad's first house in north hollywood was fifteen thousand dollars oh you couldn't buy the steering wheel for that much money yeah, you'd, <laughs> you'd, you'd need that as a down payment and that wouldn't get exactly. your payments under fifteen hundred <laughs> a month <laughs> yeah. so we're just sitting in this thing going god damn <laughs> god damn plus we we're just hanging out with jennifer aniston so oh, yeah. you know does she have oh, a range rover yeah. she's she she came in like a jet yeah, just parachuted out of a Learjet. <laughs> yeah, just showed up. Yeah, I'm here. yeah, that was that was it. So, yeah. so uh, open the hatch because you talked it, about it that was, before. It was sumptuous. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, I think I need the key fob or something. I got a key oh, fob. Wait. Yeah. So this, so the hatch comes up like that, and it's the clamshell. So you don't spill your groceries. Hatch, and then there's. We'll see. He's still got to push a button. This part. He's got to push <laughs> the button. Doesn't do it but, completely by I mean, itself. First of all, I can't reach that. So. <laughs> 
How okay. oftentimes now does it go up? Oh, yeah. it goes oh, up. Okay, by well now that, that's cool. What I'll do is the buttons there move the seats too. You don't have oh, to. you don't have to pop the oh, lever. Oh yeah, the buttons are just, on the side. Yeah, yeah, you can do that from the back. Wow. I'll usually have the guy who breaks in my low first push the buttons for me. I'm like, hey, as long <laughs> as right. your yeah, as long, your hands yeah. are free, come on. Put my I'm new shoes on. I'm breaking in gloves for me. You're breaking in loafers. Put on my new shoes and go test the hatch on my Range Rover. See right. how that's working out. So uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's a brute. It's sumptuous. It feels great. You feel you never felt safer or more in control. And above everybody, around. you feel like and, the big and man. above everyone, without that feeling of uh, of one of these tires blows, uh, I'm going over like a Ford Explorer. Right. Yeah, you don't have that. So you uh, want to fire it up? Yeah, fire it up. Why not? It should sound the same as a Jag, right? I like the the shift. How you put it in the gear? Oh that yeah, it comes out of the dash. Out of there. The, the, <laughs> and then turn, you turn it. The turn of the wheel. Yeah, they call that the dog. Are bit. you gonna put these in your next build, your next hot rod build? You know, I vote my my head's already spinning on all these ideas. It's literally 510 horsepower in the family trucks. I kind of dig the gauges. It's a complete. Yeah, yeah, the gauges. LCD panel, but it has analog gauges. Yeah, you and they change. It perfect. Yeah. They change yeah. all the time. So you have all the sort of just visceral yeah. whatever of analog, but yeah. all the cool modern. All right, you're gonna see half this shit show up on this next build. Of a <laughs> exactly. LCD readout. Flat screen date gauges Adam, in there. Come check this car come out. Come check this out. Whoa, I feel like I'm sitting in my Range Rover. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll have one of my cars over at Bodie's place uh, soon. We'll. I hope so too, yeah. on that and uh, BS Industries where you go online and where uh, else you go bshotrods.com bodystroud.com uh, Facebook Bodie and, Stroud. Uh, excellent pretty yeah. soon I think about another six months he's going to be too big to do this show so enjoy him <laughs> yeah, while you right. can everybody <laughs> I don't think Bodie so. Stroud until next time this is Adam Corolla for Matt D'Andrea Bodie Stroud saying keep the air in the spare and the bag in the wheel